Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's find out what the area of a triangle is. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to make a rectangle here and from that we'll derive the formula to find out the area of a triangle. Okay, so here is a rectangle. Let me call this rectangle say A, B, C, D. Okay, so I have a rectangle A, B, C, D and just like any rectangle, it's got a length, which is the longer side, and a width. Okay, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this rectangle into two, okay, into two triangles. Okay, so this is how I'm going to cut the rectangle into two halves to make two equal triangles. Okay, now here is my first triangle. If you can't see that already, here is a triangle. And... Here is another triangle, right? So this rectangle is made of two equal triangles. And just to be more specific, this is a right angle triangle and so is this, right? This is triangle one, A, B, C, and this is triangle two, A, D, C. Okay, so these are two triangles which are made of one rectangle. Now from here, can I calculate the area of one of the right angle triangles? Actually, it's pretty simple. Okay, this symbol means right angle. So the area of one of the right angle triangles, let's say ABC, is obviously half of the area of rectangle ABCD, right? Half of the area of rectangle. That's what the area of one of the right angle triangles is because Two triangles make one rectangle, so one triangle is obviously half the rectangle. So there you go. Half of the area of rectangle, what is that? Well, it's half of length, this length BC, times the width, which is AB. Length times width is the area of rectangle, and half of length times width is the area of triangle ABC. Now, when we talk about triangles, we don't talk about length and width. What we do talk about is another thing, two other things called base and height, which we learned in a previous lesson. So if we consider this triangle ABC, okay, this triangle ABC, and if we call BC as the base, if we take BC as the base, let me call this the base, then we know that the height of this triangle would be the side that's perpendicular to the base. And in this case, the side that's perpendicular or the line that's perpendicular to the base is AB, which is the width. So as simple as that, the height of this triangle is AB. Now in this formula, if you replace the length by the base and the width by the height, what do you get? Well, what you get is this, half of, of means multiplied by, half of base times the height. And there you go. That's the formula to calculate the area of a right angle triangle. A right angle triangle, its area is equal to half of its base times its height. As simple as that. Okay, so that's done. The area of a right triangle is taken care of. But what about any other triangle? What if it's not a right angle triangle? And if it's any other triangle, say like, you know, a regular triangle, then what about its area? So let's see. Actually, you'll learn that the area of any triangle is half of its base and height. But we'll see. Actually, I'll show to you how that is true. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a grid first and I'm going to make a triangle inside this grid. Okay, so let me make a triangle here in this grid. Okay, so say this is the base of the triangle. Actually, it's quite light, so I'm going to draw it again. Okay, so here is the base. And let's see. These are the other two sides. Okay, also let's fill in some color. Okay, now here is what I'm going to do. This I know is my base. I'll write that down actually. This is the base. Okay, and the height of this triangle is this line, right? From here to here. This is the height. This is the height. And I want to show to you that the area of this triangle A B, C is 
half of the rectangle made by the base and the height. So actually, let's first make the rectangle, the rectangle that's made of the base and the height. So this is the base. So that's one side of the rectangle. Then this line is the height, right? The height is this and so is this because these two are, you know, parallel to each other. So that's the height and this is again the base and the height. Okay, so here is my rectangle made of the base and the height of this triangle. And I'll show to you that I can fit this triangle ABC into half of this rectangle of the rectangle. Let's call it some, uh, let's give it some name. Say P, Q, R, S. So the area of triangle ABC, we'll see that it's equal to half of the area of the rectangle PQRS. And PQRS is the rectangle made of the base and the height. Okay, so let's do that. Actually, I will cut this part of the triangle. Then I'll rotate it here. And I'll place it here. It fits here. Then I take this part of the triangle, I turn it again and I place it here. So there you go, the triangle ABC can fit into half of this rectangle PQRS. So if the area of the rectangle is base times height, then the area of the triangle is half of base times height. And this is the same as what we saw before. This over here, the area of right angle triangle is also half of base times height. And you know, you can take any triangle and prove that its area is half of the area of the rectangle made by its base and height. You know, if you take, for example, a triangle like this, say an obtuse triangle, say something like this. Okay, something like this, fill in some color. Okay, now, this is the base, this is the height, and this is the rectangle, okay, made of the base and the height. And I'll show you really quickly that the area of this triangle, this purple triangle is equal to half of the area made by this rectangle, which is made of the base, and the height, right? The height of this triangle is this, right? This one over here, this is the height because it is perpendicular to the base. If you extend the base, right? Now let's see, if I cut this triangle here, okay, and I move it here, then I take this part of the triangle and I will actually need to rotate it so I can fit it and I fit it into here then you see again its area is half the area of the rectangle made by the base and the height so there you go the area of the pink triangle is also half of height because it's half the height times the base. But we usually write it as half of base times the height. It's one and the same, it doesn't make a difference because these are all the same operations. Okay, that's it, that's all I'm gonna talk about in this lesson, I hope you've understood it and I hope that now you'll go and uh, practice some exercises at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. This is M signing off for now. Bye.